obviously I got to get used to this heat. Uh, but just to be out here with the team, be out here with the guys grinding hard, we're really trying to build something special here. And, you know, Coach McGill, he just always talks about when we want to build something special, it's going to be a lot of hard work. So just having guys bought into the system, having guys bought into the work, taking care of each other, and just I'm excited to be out here with the guys now. What makes you confident that this running game will be efficient and effective? Yeah, I mean, I played against it, you know, for the last four years. Uh, it's something special. Uh, just with how they kind of disguise everything and kind of window dress and make everything look like the same really confuses the defense, and it holds the defense to really be disciplined and just have gap integrity. And um, I think that's something that I'm pretty good at, specializing with my, my zone scheme. And I'm, I'm excited to just get it under the zone and kind of, you know, work my feet, work the rhythm. It's a different scheme than what I'm used to. I was uh, predominantly inside zone. So just working my feet, getting used to the outside zone track, getting used to the outside zone feel, how certain lanes feel. But uh, just working the build to something special, man. Before the contact really starts, is it more mental for you out here in these particular practices? Yeah, I always felt like, uh, you know, OTA should always be just about a mental emphasis. Um, I just feel like, especially with the NFL going to 17 games, you, it's a pounding enough. You know, I feel like guys got to come out here, get the playbook down so that when we have that six weeks off, it can stay fresh in our mind. We come back to camp and, you know, you don't really miss a step. I saw you hit a couple of big runs. Do you count those as big runs, or does it not count when the, there's no contact? No, it don't count with no pads. That's that's my opinion. You know, uh, you, you separate the men from the boys once the pads get on. Um, but again, I think it's just important for us to obviously get the scheme down, get the plays down, and most importantly, just take care of each other. You know, uh, in past season, you had guys, you lose guys, and there's no reason for that. So just coming out here, making sure we're taking care of each other, and getting good, solid work. So how do you, when you go back and watch the film, how do you assess it? If it's yeah, I mean, you assess it by just your tracks. You assess it by, like, obviously the lanes that are there. We're still playing football, you know. But I just feel like from my personal standpoint, uh, as, a, as a running back, you know, it's not real until you get the pads on. You don't really get to feel the lanes. You don't really get to feel kind of the, the scheme, the, the tempo, really, especially the tempo changes so much from pads to no pads. Who chirps the most in the defense? Who chirps the most? Yeah. Uh, Raekwon, 98? Raekwon and uh, C. Wilk, but I was just talking to the guys, man. I mean, that's what it is, but we got some dogs on defense. That's the first thing I took notice about with just being out here is just uh, really the physicality and that we have a really solid defense. Do you get a sense from them that they're, they're pretty far ahead in terms of just knowing the system well, and where they are? Yeah, so we got a lot of new guys on offense, man. Um, everybody coming from different places. So we're all still trying to get the scheme down, get the plays down. Football is very universal in the sense that a lot of the players are the same, but the language is just different. So it's really just about changing my language that I've been used to from Arizona, or like Tyreek's been used to in Kansas City, coming here and just establishing that in our mindset. So the defense, you know, they got what, like all their starters back, I think. So they're already kind of continuity. We're pretty used to everything, and they're flowing well. That's great stuff. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate y'all. This running back room been like it feels like it goes at least four Oh, yeah. No, I like it. I like it, man. we already been hanging out a lot. Uh, good fellowship, always staying with each other. Um, it's just funny because, uh, you know, Sony was actually my combine roommate. So, like I said, man, God works in mysterious ways. And just, you know, five years ago, to, we're just roommates. He don't know who I am. I don't know who he is. And to come here, to be teammates and stuff like that. So we're already building on that relationship.